getting young people to read is the very first step towards creating an educated, engaged and empowered young citizenry and the future leadership that South Africa so desperately needs. I mean, Shakespeare can't touch this. Yeah, look at the punctuation in line three. There are very few schools in South Africa that actually have a functional school library and books in South Africa are very expensive too. And without that reading material, we're not going to be able to create a culture of reading and get young South Africans excited about books and excited about reading and learning. So books are expensive and personally I've never bought a book in my life. You at high school, a high school which has a very limited library and you hardly even get access to that library. So what FUNZE is aiming to do is to make reading accessible, to make it fun, and to make it something that people actually want to do. And we're doing that by creating the kind of content that actually excites and delights young people. People don't have access to books, while as a lot of people have access to a phone, so it's much more easier, instead of going to a library, to just go on a portal and then just going to FUNZE, and then actually seeing, oh, this, I have an option of five books, and then they can read it there. Now everyone is motivated to read because they don't have to pay too much to read and reading is like fundamental for everyone to like, it's important for everyone to read. <laughs> you have youngsters in, in this day and age who have access to books, tons and tons of books and short stories on, the, on their mobiles. Imagine the, 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 the difference, imagine just the, the impact that that might have. We're using mobile technology, so we're delivering on cell phones, which is exactly where so many young people are actually spending a lot of their time. 75% of South Africans over the age of 15 years have got access to a cell phone, so it makes sense to be using these devices as a way to deliver content. It's very portable, so like if I'm in my phone and then I'm, let's say, in a taxi, if I'm on my phone, let's say I'm riding with my car to school or something, then it's much more easier than taking out the thousands of books and having a heavy bag. More than 50,000 unique readers are actually accessing the site and the average session time is 14 minutes which shows that there's significant am amount of reading actually happening on the FUNZA Mobi network. FUNZA has a responsive website that is available on the internet and on smartphone devices. We're also on the Mixit platform which is a widely successful South African social network available across the board from smartphones to feature phones which means that youth on low-end devices are able to access us cheaply, even in rural areas. And so at the moment they can read, they can also comment on stories. So we ask questions at the end of chapters and they can give us their feedback. They can either answer the question or get, say big ups to the author. We've got a share button at the end of every page and so readers can click on that and choose which, friend, which of their friends they're wanting to share that content with too. And that way we're able to grow the platform in a very organic way. At the moment we have a lot of quality content that has been accessed by a large number of users. We also have aspects that involve surveys, questionnaires and an attempt to quantify the understanding that users actually have of a text. We're aiming to improve and extend these capabilities. In particular we want to add gamification aspects that allow the users to engage more with the texts and with each other. So we've got a FUNZA fan section in which young readers can become writers too and get their own work published and getting then also comments and feedback from readers too. So many of the comments from writers are that they've, they've grown in confidence because they can see their work being published. They feel that their story suddenly holds enormous value. I started reading the comments from, my, uh, from Afunza readers and when they liked my story, it, f it felt great. I felt great. Most of our readers don't have computers at home. So the way that they actually send us their stories is that they, they type them on their cell phones old feature phones, they're typing out letter by letter by letter. Sometimes, you know, B is, a, is two little button presses. But the fact that hundreds do shows how much um, value they actually place on having this, this space in which to get published. I am enjoying the party. Pam asked and Siwa as they reapplied their lip gloss. As always, your aunt has invited some of the most attractive men in town. It's raining men, said Aunt Siwa. Hallelujah, said Pam, and they burst out laughing. At FUNZE, we're all about producing great, exciting, relevant content in an accessible way for the youth of South Africa. 
We're also passionate about using fiction to bring about social change and shifts in attitudes, creating empathy with our readers for the characters in our stories. You read, you, you, you dive into a book, you lose yourself in a book, you, do, you discover these characters, their idiosyncrasies, and you discover what makes them special. And the important thing is that these characters are based on real life people. In 2014, FUNS has an exciting project bringing the South African Constitution's Bill of Rights to life for youth across South Africa with a series of short stories around each of the rights. At the moment, many of our users are on feature phones, but we're seeing a transition to smartphones. We're seeing a rollout of Android tablets, and we need to be on those platforms as our users migrate to them. We want to provide dictionaries on board. We want to provide the tools for teachers to engage with their learners, and we want to provide more gamification and comprehension tools for the learners themselves. With added investment, we can extend the interactive offerings on the platform as it stands today and we are able to keep pace with our users as technology evolves. FUNSA needs your support. With your help we can reach even more young people with greater content and in more innovative ways. We live in a world, in a fast-paced world now, where children are not necessarily sitting in front of computers, but they live very technology-centered lives. And by that I mean constantly tapping their cell phones. So how do you reach into that? You reach into that by having stories distributed through Mixit, which is exactly what Funza is doing. So, I mean, I would really vouch for them to, to get sponsored because it's pretty much brilliant.